<laughs> yeah, y'all remember this movie right here? Yeah, y'all remember this movie right here, right? Okay, we gonna we gonna tap in real quick. Let me show y'all ass something real quick. He told me, quote, at a top robotics company in Japan this week, four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. And they did it by shooting what he called metal bullets. I didn't know there was any other kind. The scariest part is that lab workers deactivated two of the robots, took apart the third, but the fourth robot began restoring itself and somehow connected to an orbiting satellite to download information about how to rebuild itself even more strongly than before. And this this next sentence, is a, this is a quote. I'm, I'm writing this down. I've been doing this for years. This is serious shit, Linda, but you're never going to hear about this in the news. All right, check it. So the video from that article that I just posted was posted in 2022, but this actually happened back in 2017, allegedly. So a little bit of context and backstory. Apparently there was a whistleblower, right? And this whistleblower was a discharged Marine, but he continues to work on contracts with the CIA, the NSA and the DIA agencies. Now, the article says that this happened in Japan, but there's speculation that this actually took place in South Korea. The fact that two of these things were deactivated and the third one was taken apart, leaving the fourth one, knowing what was coming, and to take it upon himself to download information from a satellite to then build itself back together. But not only that, to build itself back together even more strongly than before. <laughs> bro, that is absolutely terrifying. I know y'all have seen this movie. Bro, this is literally what happens in this movie where Will Smith plays a detective called Detective Spooner. And he's the only one that doesn't trust these robots, right? And rightfully so. They crazy. But not only crazy, bro, they're smart. As human beings, we have the ability to evolve because we have the ability to go within ourselves and correct mistakes within ourselves in order to grow and evolve, become smarter, become stronger. But also as human beings, we have things like emotions that keep us from doing these things. The scariest part about AI is they don't have those emotions. So they can evolve at a rate 100,000 million times faster than human beings can. That is what makes things like this so scary. I love Elon Musk, man, but this has got me thinking, bro. What you doing, man? What you doing, Elon? I don't know, man. What do y'all think, though? Are we doomed? <laughs>